When I look at the sweep of history, humans have faced a large number of major problems and we have addressed them and solved them. I think that we are on a path to have a sustainable world. In my whole career, I've been excited by ideas. And uh, I love the ideas in physics, I love the mechanism, I love the ability to look at forces and find out what the effects were. And what excited me about ecology was that that approach might give a lot of insight into a discipline which at that time wasn't mechanistic, it wasn't predictive. I'd say my, my whole life uh, I have always wondered how things work, why things are the way they work. And so a career in science felt very natural because you got to ask questions, you got to try to set up experiments to test them. Um, I don't know how old I was when I thought I wanted to be a scientist, but I, but I know by the time I was 15 or 16, I couldn't imagine a more fun thing to be. Well, our work has shown that uh, planting many species of grasses together can give us a surprisingly large amount of energy from pretty marginal lands. Uh, this is a, frankly, a radical idea compared to the approach taken right now, which is to take very fertile farmland and use it to grow corn or soybeans or some other crop and turn that into energy. Uh, so we've shown we can get more energy off a hectare of infertile land with our method than you can have off a hectare of fertile land with a crop. Um, the industry doing bioenergy right now does not uh, find this a very exciting idea. So it's, it's going to take a while. New ideas are slow to be adopted. I think this idea is going to win because it will be the most environmentally efficient and probably the most economically efficient way to make bioenergy. And I think one of the hard parts, that we're, one of the hard questions we're going to face uh, in, in the environment is how we can help consumers make the wisest possible choice. The dilemma we face is we can't expect a consumer to know everything I know as a scientist and to go out and be based upon that, buy the right food from the right farmer grown in the right way. So we have to have some way that either we um, impose the right standards upon the producers of foods and the producers of cars and so on, or that when a consumer goes into a marketplace, there's something on that product that tells them exactly what the total benefit and the total cost of that product is. So an idea that I think is interesting is having the price of a product reflect not just what it takes to make it and not just the profit the company has to have to make that product, but also all of the environmental impacts that that product might have if they're negative. And if that price were set that way, then a consumer would automatically, without having to think, be buying a product knowing that the, that the price they see is the total effect of that product uh, in terms of the marketplace and the environment. As I'm very concerned that we have find a way that the nine billion people we're going to have on Earth can lead wonderful lives, so they can have the, so we can have the food and the uh, and the other resources that the children in any nation around the world can grow up to be functioning adults uh, that can have the education and so on that they need. I also, though, know that if that happens the way we've done things in the past, we will not have an environment that is livable. So we have to find a way that we can provide the lives that we know people deserve at the same time that we preserve the environment that we need to make this be, to be the planet that we want to live on.